Hey YouTube, today I'm going to give you a quick unboxing video of a Toshiba SSD drive um, that was once only available to computer and OEM builders. Um, Toshiba, I think, at the beginning of 2013 uh, decided to start selling their very high quality SSD drives to the retail market. And where I got this one from was from Newegg.ca on a recent sale that they had. Uh, and I, in fact, I purchased two of these 256 gigabyte SSDs because it worked out to about 59 cents a gigabyte, uh, which is a lot less than the traditional 80 to 90 cents a gig from most retailers that sell a similar SSD like the Samsung 840 Pro series or even the uh, Intel 335 series drives. Um, as far as performance goes, the Toshiba, uh, I have read, uh, uses a memory controller that's based on the Marvell controller. Uh, overall, in real life tests, it apparently does quite well uh, and is actually comparable uh, to the Samsung 840 Pro series in so many ways, uh, which kind of surprised me. And I'll make some references on my video afterwards to where you can find the, uh, the articles that state that. Um, but anyways, the model number of this drive specifically is a THNSH or sorry, a THNSNH256GBST, uh, 256 gigabyte SSD SATA 3 drive. But what's really interesting is that on the box itself, the part number is actually something different. It actually says it's a HDTS225XZSTA, um, but I can assure you that the drive um, is a, a THSNH series drive, Q series drive. So basically, um, I bought it from Newegg, it came packaged in a plain cardboard box, like how Newegg historically would ship things, and you know it's got some bubble wrap inside. But uh, in a nutshell, this is what uh, the retail packaging looks like from Toshiba. Now remember, guys, this wasn't available not that long ago, because uh, Toshiba historically was the sort of OEM supplier to guys like the Apples and the Dells and and whoever else decides to use an OEM-based drive. And OEM is not necessarily a bad thing because um, OEMs, my understanding is that they rely uh, heavily on reliability and not necessarily performance. But what makes this particular drive interesting is that <laughs> it's reasonably reliable from the uh, the specifications, um, and it's supposed to be quite fast. So, uh, regardless, the price of this drive was uh, priced very well, and I'm going to actually install one drive in my mid 2011 Mac Mini and my mid 2010 iMac. Um, because Apple back then was charging an arm and a leg uh, to install an SSD somewhere in the realm, I think, $700 back in 2010, and I think even $400 plus in 2011 for a Mac Mini, so it was just a rip-off as far as what they were charging. But uh, regardless, I bought two of these drives here, and we're just going to check out what it looks like on the inside. So the packaging looks fairly plain. Doesn't look like there's anything fancy like how a Samsung Pro Series drive would be packaged. Basically inside the box there's a little instruction leaflet for warranty, it looks like right here. And it's got a three year warranty by the way guys, if you were wondering. So there's a three year warranty and this is basically what the SSD looks like. It's packaged in an anti-static bag inside some bubble wrapping and then this is the SSD here so it's a SATA 3 drive uh, but it is backward compatible with SATA 1 and SATA 2 interfaces but in a nutshell um, there it is so you can see the part number THN SNH 256GBST Q series drive um, supposedly this is a very thin drive it definitely feels nice it's uh, not fancy but it feels like it's reasonably well made and assembled in the fit and finish of this is quite good. So there you have it guys. Um, you know, Stay tuned for my uh, next video here that's going to show me doing an install on a 2011 Macintosh Mini with the iFixit Data Doubler Kit.